Well, well, well. Looks like the race has been postponed. Even though I told the officials that I'd be practicing social distancing by easily staying six feet in front of your car. Well, good luck in quarantine. I bought up all the TP in the area. Huh. Oh yeah? Well, joke's on you, bro. I bought up all the plungers. So I hope you handle your plumbing better than you do your messy driving. Touche. Feels weird though, trash talking over video. This doesn't have the same effect. You know what does have the same effect? My team while they're working hard at home. They're working harder than ever to make sure I have everything I need to get back out on the track. Even with all that though, there's no way you're getting to 260. You lie, bro. You sit on a throne of lies. We may have taken a step back, but diamonds get better in with pressure. So I'll tell you what, we're going to come out of this thing stronger than ever. Yeah, right. What was that? I said, yeah, right. Yeah, nah, man, uh, you're cutting out. What, what was that? I said, yeah, right. Your internet must be as weak as your racing skills. By the way, I could totally hear you the whole time. You know, I was talking to my good friend Grant Cardone the other day. He says, negativity never helped anybody. Positivity is what fuels this 12-cylinder, 600-power mix of speed and precision we call client command. You do know I'm the only one that can hear you, right? No need to put on a show. A show? You better self-quarantine your little comments there, bro. Nah, even when we're at home, we still breathe values. Just because no one's watching doesn't mean me and my team are going to back down from hard work and determination that we live by every day. We embrace this challenge, son. All right, well, I'm going to hang up. You're giving me a headache. Well, I hope you have a baby aspirin to take for your little headache. Tell you what, dude, when we get back out on the track, I'm going to flatten the curve with your face. I'll see you on the track, Jack. <laughs>